what's happening man we back with another video we got another q a this is part two to part one you know we had some folks come in late but we got like six seven questions so why not let's jump right into this thing question number one they starting strong off the rip they said how old do i want to be when i get married honestly i have no like set time frame in my head as to when i want to get married and or like plans for when i want to get married it's just more of kind of like when when the right girl come along and show me that she can love me how i feel like i need to be loved and reciprocate the kind of love that i get her and, and our vibes match and and we can do things together and all that sturdy you know what i'm saying then then i think i can go down that road but until then bro like I'm just sticking to myself, honestly. I'm sticking to myself, sticking to my money, standing on my business, and uh, yeah. So, but once once that lady come along, you know, once that woman come along, it's gonna show me, show me right. You know what I'm saying? Do me right. Do me do me how I'm supposed to be done. You know what I'm saying? Uh, then we'll see what's up with that. Second question was, what time do I normally go to bed? Um, it depends. Like throughout the week, I wake up at three thirty three on the dot. Don't ask why. I just, I like the number three and it's got a nice little ring to it. And so I try and get to sleep around shit, like 8.39. You know, like 8.39 is normally what time I get to sleep during the week, I would say. And then the weekends, I get to sleep about 10.30, 11. I don't, I don't like to stay up too late. I like to keep my schedule pretty consistent. You know, like Maybe seven. I wake up on set. Wake up about seven on the weekends. I don't like to sleep in too much. I don't like to flutter up and down and be like, "Damn, why am I so tired?" Like you stayed up until two o'clock this last weekend and then woke up at six. I wonder why you're tired. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I try and stay consistent with my schedule. But yeah, so normally during the week about eight thirty nine, and then the weekends I would like to say about. 10 30 11 roughly sometimes i get wild and stay up until midnight Woo! Uh, real old man shit <laughs> you know it's funny because i have been called a grandpa hey sonny let me tell you something yeah, it is what it is bro question number three was do i love my life yes i love my life what is there not to love about life you know what i'm saying you are alive you breathing motherfucker you have the opportunity to do everything in the world you know what i'm saying so Everything's ahead of you right now. Sometimes I wish I was further ahead in my life than where I'm at. But then I look back and I'm like, yeah, bro, you know what I'm saying? You, you kind of do, you doing something, you know what I'm saying? So just keep working. But yeah, I do love my life. I'm happy with my life. I love my family. I'm thankful for all that I'm blessed with. I hope you love yours and um, have a blessed day. Question number four. Well, I guess it's not much of a question. It's more of a uh, remark. They told me not to leave them on open. Well, if you're talking about your question, I wasn't sure if I should do a part two, but here I am doing a part two and I done answered your question at this point. So no need for the hostility. Number two, if you talking about on Snapchat or something, look, I got news for you. If your conversation is dry, I'm leaving you on open. If you Snapchatting me just to keep it straight, I'm leaving you on open. If you not talking and just sending pictures of your damn forehead, I'm leaving you on open. Look, bro. It's no point in just sending these damn pictures back and forth if we ain't having no conversation. Do you feel me? So I'm just gonna move on about my day and uh, leave you on open. And um, the next time, let's have more of a genuine conversation. That way we can carry on the conversation. Question it's number five. What was I wearing? Got on the motherfucking UNC blues, gray sweats. White shirt with the gray sweatshirt and the motherfucking Cincinnati Bengals Pro Bowl hat. Let me know. I think I'm dripping. I may be tripping. Let me know in the comments, though. It's kind of hard to fit my big tall ass in this damn screen. So if you're like, why are you leaning over all crazy? That's why, bro. The next question asks how big of a nerd I am. Well, shit, I guess it kind of depends on what you're talking about. Because honestly, bro, look, I'm going to drop some knowledge on you. I'm going to drop some knowledge on everybody watching this video. Everybody is a nerd about something in in a specific way. Bro, if you watch football every day, all day, and you're a football geek, then you're a nerd of football, bro. If you 
are into books and shit and you like to study and all that fun stuff, you are a nerd of studying and all that fun stuff. If you like basketball and you watch the NBA all the damn time, you are a nerd of basketball, bro. Play the damn video game all the time and all you do is play the video game. You are a nerd on video games. Bro, everybody is a nerd about something. But if I had to rate myself on a nerd scale, I would give myself a, uh, shit, let's see. Hmm. I don't know, bro. I feel like I, I can be pretty nerdy sometimes, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to give myself a... T -t Today, I'm, I'm, Junior! How about you rate me 1 through 10 on the damn nerd scale? 4.7? On a side note, if you ever go to Nashville, Tennessee, and you're thinking about wearing your dunks, bro, do not wear them. They will get ruined, and they will never be the same. You will be heartbroken, and, uh, yeah, you just, it's not a good time. Just wear some beaters, and, um, call it a day, bro. Don't take a trip to Nashville and wear your dunks. You heard it from me first. You feel me? You will, you will get them hoes creased. You will get them hoes stepped on. You will get them hoes dirty. And you won't even realize it. You'll just come home and they'll be fucking stomped on, bro. Dirty as fuck. But yeah, man, thanks for tapping into this video. That's the end of this one. I think I covered all the questions. Once again, dripping or tripping, you let me know. I think I'm stepping personally, you know, but that's just my confidence. Before I forget, make sure you like, follow, subscribe, comment, share, all that shit. Show love, man. Jay Boogie, out.